Hi, everybody. It's 2 o'clock on a Tuesday, and today I'm going to be making this cute little mailbox. Absolutely adorable. And it holds a gift card. It's a little pocket in there to hold a gift card. And then it folds flat for mailing. So, pretty cute. So stay with me, and I will show you how to make it. Oh, wrong one. This is so darn cute. All right, so this is a little post box. Holds a little gift card. You could put money in here, whatever. You could even put like a little treat of chocolate or something. And then it just goes like this, and then it folds flat for mailing. Absolutely adorable. I got this from V Tan, I think her name is, or Tran. And uh, it's pretty sweet. I just did some uh, different things on it. Now, I've wanted to use this stamp for a while. It's called Little Agenda Postage. And when I um, was looking, I found that mailbox. And it's so sweet. So you could do it for birthday. Uh, Valentine's Day would be really cute. Little red mailbox. Um, but they have different, like they've got birthday and they have like a unicorn and a fairy and Christmas and Valentine's Day. So there's lots of things. And then there's these little empty stamps and then you can put in the little sentiments. Okay. All right. And I'll show you how to make it. All right. So we're going to start off with... Oh, Cindy, yeah. could you bring me the, the paper trimmer, like the sliding one, please? Yeah. Okay, so the paper is seven and a quarter by nine. And we're going to do some scoring. Thank you. So we're going to, with the long side along the top, we're going to score out one, four and a quarter, five and a quarter, eight and a half. All right. And then we're going to turn it with the half inch score line at the top here. So that's important. The half inch score line at the top. And we're going to score at two and a quarter. All right. Now we have a second piece. And the second piece of red is six by four and a quarter. Or is it four? Just let me see. Yeah, four and a quarter. And along the long side, we're going to score at two and a half. And I'm going to rotate it. And then we're going to score at a half inch and three and three quarters or a half inch on each side. Okay. So those are our two pieces. All right. We're going to take this one and we're going to do some cutting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this small tab here. So I'm just going to get my pen. So I'm removing this tab. And then I'm also removing this over here. Okay. Can't see that very well. So I'm removing this. And I'm removing this. I'm just going to get my scissors. 
So I'm just going to cut on the right side of the score line. And then I'm going to cut on the left side of the score line. There we go. And then I'm going to cut right across here. Now I didn't cut that very good. So I'm just flipping it over so I can see the score line and I'm just cutting on the left side of that score line. Okay. All right, so now it looks like that. Now I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and I'm gonna do some cutting. Now you could measure with a ruler and cut with a craft knife, I am going to use a paper trimmer, all right? A sliding one. I usually use a guillotine, so this is a little different for me. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut, I'm putting this right over to the inch on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line an inch down between the top score line and then the next score line. Okay. So I'm just going to raise that up. I'm going to turn it like this so I can see. All right. So I've got it with the inch here and I'm going to put my little arrow on one inch. And I'm going to go down to four and a quarter. There we go. Okay. So I just have a, a line right across there from this score line to this score line. Okay, now I'm going to make some score lines on this one. All righty. So how am I going to do I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to fold this in like so. So I'm just folding that side over. Again, I've only made it once, so I have to remember how to do this. <clears throat> so now I'm going to make two slits in here. So that's the slits for the mailbox. So I'm going to line this up at one and a half and put this down. And what I want to do is I want to go from half inch. So I'm going to turn it again so I can see it. So I'm going from half inch, which is right there. And I'm going down to two and three quarters. So here, and I'm going down to two and three quarters quarters. Okay. There we go. Now, so that was at an inch and a half. Now I'm going to an inch and three quarters and I'm putting this down again. So it's already at two and three quarters. So now I'm just going to go the opposite way. So now I'm just going to slide this up to one half. Okay. So then I have those two little slits. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my craft knife, or you could just take scissors, I guess. And I'm just going to cut this out. So I'm just doing vertical lines on each side and then I'm just cutting that out and then we have the little mail slot. Okay. All right. So now on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut diagonal lines from the end of this cut line to the top 
of the score line. So a diagonal line there. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to go from the cut line to the top uh, left corner. And I'm going to do a little diagonal. So I can just take my scissors now. And I'm just going to just do it freehand. And I'm going to cut there like that. And then I'm going to cut. You can fold this over and get a better cut. And then I'm just cutting from that score line down to that cut line. OK? All right. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just round the corners of my the lid for my mailbox. OK, so that is the mailbox. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold and burnish on the score lines. Now, I'm not putting it together yet because we have to put the insert in. That blade was pretty rough. Maybe I have a emery board or something in here. I do. Maybe my sander will work. There we go. All right. OK, now that second piece that we cut that was six by four and a quarter. So we're going to fold on those score lines. So this is the insert. I don't need this anymore. Okay, and then I'm going to fold this up. All right. So now I'm going to make two snips. I'm going to snip here and turn it around and snip here. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to miter the corners. Okay, so I'm just mitering those corners. And I'm going to do all of them. This is going to create the insert and the pocket for the gift card. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these in on this shorter side, and this is going to form my pocket like that. Okay? So I can just put a little bit of tape there. Fold that up. So now we have that little pocket. All right, now we're going to insert it into here. Now I have to remember how to do this. That can't be. Let's go this way. Just have to double check this. Yeah, it goes that way. And so then that goes up like that. And that goes, as I said, I've only made it once. OK, so I'm going to put some tape down this side. 
Okay, and I'm going to put tape down this side. So now my pocket, the full part here is facing down. So I'm just going to remove the tape backing here. And I'm putting this in. I'm just sort of putting it like this. So it forms a little triangle up here, but you can see I've got this part even with this part you see that so I'll do I don't know if I can take it off no but you can see that when I put it on this score line is even with this diagonal see that so it looks like that and then this one is going to go like this. So I'm just going to take this off. And how does that work? This one goes over here like that. And then we've got it folds up. And then you have it, that little insert that looks like that. Okay. All right. Now I am going to put tape along here. And remove it. We're going to be cutting that top part off. And then this is just going to fold over. See that? It's just folding over. So it's pretty easy. And then we have this little triangle up here that we're going to cut off. So I'm just removing that little triangle. Okay, I'm going to remove a bit of this too. There we go. And there we have it. There's our little mailbox. So you can push it down and burnish all of it. And then really give this a good burnish along this seam so that when you pop it up, it stays down like that. So cute. Love it. Okay, now we're going to decorate. If you're wondering why I'm making so many gift cards, that's what I'm giving for Christmas. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, so on the front, I just put this little piece like that, and this is, I just cut a square that is two and five eighths, and then I just did a teeny tiny border on the black, okay? But wouldn't this be cute for Valentine's Day? Have a little Valentine's box. There we go. And then I'm just going to put this. Now, you can just lay this flat and put it down here like that. I just wanted a base, a base for my uh, greetings. So here they are, so cute. So it says special delivery. And this one says a little stamp and it says from me to you. And then this one says warm hugs 
and wishes. All righty. So let's get those on. Hugs and wishes. Maybe I can move that over a bit. Oops. And then I have from me to you. And then I'm going to pop that. This one right here. How adorable is that? Okay. Yeah, they just make it. It's so cute. And then I've used the season's greetings. Now, this is off another stamp that I'm using tomorrow. And it just worked out perfect for this. And there we go. Is that not cute? And then you just take your gift card and you just slide it in there like that. And then put it in an envelope. And then it pops up like that. And it looks so cute. Oh my goodness. It's just adorable. Okay, so I have one stamp with all of this on it. And I have one stamp and one die as a set. Okay, so it's pretty cute. I would grab it because you're definitely gonna wanna make these. It's just perfect. So the stamp is 23.19 and the stamp and die is 34.78. And the stamp has all the little grooves around it, so it's pretty cute. All right, so if you'd like those, let me know. This is all I have, this one and this one with the die. All right. I think this is one of the cutest things I've ever made. Okay, now I will try and get instructions uh, made for you for that, okay? All right, here is my ornament for this year. Oh, I know what I forgot to do on the back of this. Let's bring this back. I forgot to put this personal sentiment. So this is two and three quarters by four and a half. So I'm just gonna put this mat on the back of my mailbox. And then the white is Two and a half by four and a quarter. And then this is where you can write your personal message. Okay. There, now it's complete. Yeah. It closes. It doesn't, this is the way it closes. It just sits up like that. It just sits up and lies flat. Okay. And then it folds flat like that for your envelope. And then when you, they get it, it pops up like that. So it doesn't actually close in, in that it locks close. It just, it just lies there on top. You can see that. Yes, Lori, you can have the stamp. It's just adorable. Okay. All right. So this is the ornament for this year. 
I had to giggle because this is what I did all year was complain about the gas price, uh, going back and forth to the lake, etc. So, anyways, I thought this was pretty cute. We're all, we're also doing another one for kids, but I just had to have this one because it's a great little memory of uh, 2022. Okay. So they're $10. They're all put together. And if you'd like them, just let me know. And um, they'll be in the store probably some tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty funny. <laughs> so they're $10. So if you'd like one, uh, just let us know. And we will have them in the store. All right. Now... We have some things. Cold out of the box. What was that? Cold from the box. Yes, they are. This is beautiful. This is a Spellbinders Snowflake Embossing Folder. It's beautiful. Oh, this one's lovely. This one's Holiday Floral Swag. It's gorgeous. Yes, Lori. Groceries would be another pain in the gas. That's beautiful. Ooh, this is interesting. Geoleaf. That's cool, eh? So it does a little fading. Overlapping. Overlapping. That's beautiful. And this one is lovely. This is a beautiful sympathy stamp. We've been asking Pink Fresh for sympathy for a while. So they've given us one. And it's beautiful. So turn this over. It'll show you what it looks like stenciled. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And then the the die has the sentiments cut out. So it's really more about the sentiments than the floral, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll have to make some cards with that. And then we have, you're the best stenciling die. You're incredible and you are doing a great job. You're the best. That's cute. And I've given it a bundle price. And it's a bundle price, everybody. So it's $54.99. It's regular over 70. Regular over 70. Wow. It's a beautiful stamp, and I'll show you what it looks like. Look at those beautiful flowers. So you're the best, and it has the stamp, the stencil, and the die, and the bundle is $54.99, and it's regular over $75. No, over $70. Over $70. So there's your deal of the day. It's beautiful. All right, so I think that's it. So um, we have the sympathy. Yeah. Gorgeous. We have the overlapping geo leaf. We have this gorgeous embossing folder called Holiday Floral Swag. And we have this beautiful flurry of snowflakes. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I'll show you what, I'm off tomorrow and I won't be doing a video because, to be honest, I have to do my laundry. So, that's what I'm doing. But, on Thursday, I will be doing this adorable card. Wait till you see this one. Look at this, it's so cute. And look, they dance. How cute is that? And it's easy to make. I love it. You know me and interactive cards. It's so cute. They're just dancing away. Season's greetings. Have a cozy holiday. Okay. So I have that. And that is on Thursday. And Friday... 
Now I've had somebody, Teresa wanted a mini album with a waterfall. So I've made this mini album. And you open it up and she wanted waterfall. So there we go. So there you can put all your pictures in here. And here. Now, if you didn't want to put waterfall on both sides, you could just do a corner a diagonal pocket. And but this holds tons of pictures. So you could do your whole winter in here. I think I might even make a Christmas one. And um, for the sample on Friday, I will make a Christmas one. All right. But anyway, so it opens up like this. And there you go. Isn't that cute? I love this paper. Love, love, love. So I will have. If anybody wants kits, I can certainly make up kits, I believe, um, with the instructions. But I'm going to make the whole thing on Friday. Okay? So I, I can have kits. Yeah, you could use, I don't know, we have paper that has the squares in Christmas. We have baby yeah, you could do all sorts of This is just sort of just gets your whole winter. So maybe I'll make another one of these. It's so cute. All right. So there we go. I hope that's what you wanted, Teresa. Because so that'll be on Friday. Yes, it's chipboard, chipboard album. So it's really sturdy. And then I have all of the things. So maybe I will do a kit. And I give you all the instructions to make it. No, Kim, if I'm going to do a kit, then the instructions will be in the kit. Should I do a kit? Do we have paper? I don't really know what you're talking about. I, okay, good, Teresa. I'm glad you like it. I'll tell you in a minute if I'm doing the kit. No, I could do a few. I can do a few kits. Uh, the reason that, uh, Kim, the instructions will be detailed. So I think I'll just leave it as a kit. Okay. Alrighty. So that's that. So that's uh, Friday and tomorrow is my dancing guys. And I used a corner punch the other side of it, which makes a notch, which I really liked. I'm going to make this a little longer. So that's Thursday. And then today's. So there we go. There's this week's. All right. Uh, thanks for joining me. And I will. Um, yeah, so let me know if you want any of the ornaments they're pretty cute pain in the gas <laughs> thanks for watching everybody bye bye